So in this quick video, I'm gonna have a quick look at Fishing Knots Lite. There are a lot of knot apps out there. All of them have pros and all of them have cons. Now this has some pros and some cons, we'll go through them. But what I like about this is that it does have quite a lot of knots. Now, this is the screen that comes up as soon as you open the app. It's not very easily navigated. It's just not that clear what all these are. Obviously you can click on the all knots at the top and then all the knots come up that is in this app. Um, that's me scrolling through them. And you've got ads down the bottom. So with the light version, you will get ads. But then with these other pictures, you can click on them. That's obviously a picture of this. These are knots for tying a hook or a swivel on. Second one, lure. So again, you've got the same sort of knots in this one. It's obviously just to attach any implement there. The next one I would say is line to line. So there we are, you've got the align to line knots. Um, the fourth one down again, looks like thicker line to thinner line. So that's what that's good for. The fifth one down looks like a knot within the line. Um, so that, that would be like a figure of eight, which is a bit like the Ashley stopper. Then again, we've got I think these are knots that attach to the hook instead of going through the eye and attaching to the line itself. Yep, so there we are. There's that. Then we've got loop knots. And then you've got loop within the line further down. And that's how you do dropper loops through that. You've then got, I take it these are for spade end. And then we've got loop to loops, cross loop connection, and that's it. It doesn't scroll any further than that. But if we click on the top one, so as you can see, you've got all the different knots with their titles. Some of these titles might not be right um, to what you know them as. I don't think this is an English or American based app, so they may have different names. But let's go for the uni knot at the top. We can click on that. There we go. And then but you've got the picture of the new uni knot, sort of slightly expanded, exploded diagram. And then underneath in the gray box, you can click the expand on the right and it gives you a full description of the knot. Now the description isn't that well worded, which then again makes me think that this is not a English or American app. I think it may be Russian or something. Um, and you'll see that when we click on a link in a minute. So we can close that down. And then beneath that, you've got a TV screen with a play button that links to YouTube to start a video on how to do this knot. You've then got the, the mono and braid, so it shows you that this knot is good to be used with mono and braid. It then gives you the strength percentage of this knot. So this is 75% strength. Um, so that's about about right for most knots really um, if you can get higher 80% that's better but the knots always going to be slightly weaker than your main line so we can click on the TV in the corner takes you straight to YouTube and then as you can see the title is not English um, I won't want to guess what that is um, could be uh, Russian I do not know Go, Good video there in rope showing you how to tie the knot. So we can go back with the back button and we go back to the app. Now, not every single knot has got a video. Um, there's the tuner knot there that hasn't got a video, and the spider hitch hasn't got a video. And not every knot has got a breaking strength or um, whether it can be used with mono or braid. But you'll see there's some there like the turtle knot, the pies and the pitzen knot, I've never heard of that, but um, they can be used with mono and not braid. So it's the same all the way through. That's basically all you get with this. Very simple. If you want to watch the videos, 
you need to have data connection. You can't watch them offline. So that is a, a little bit of a downside, but it's always good to have these on your phone when you're fishing. Uh, most people have data. You can then, if you want to try something new, you're thinking, oh, I want to get a loop in my line and attach um, a hook to it. You can then just click on the loop in the line and you can do that and follow one of these and get that done. So it's a useful app to have. There are other not apps. If anyone's got a better one, please let me know. But I have found this to have a bigger selection of knots available. Um, it's just not that intuitive to, to uh, navigate through. But um, for free, can't really complain. And a useful app, as I said, to have on your phone. Anyway, till next time, tight lines.